We're continuing talking about the devil, demons, and spiritual warfare. And today we're going to talk about what God did to the devil to disarm him. Here in Colossians chapter 2, it says in verse 13, When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all of our sins, having canceled the written code with his regulations that was stood against us and stood opposed to us. He took it away, nailing it to the cross and having disarmed. Can you all say disarm? Having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Now, what is it about the cross that could disarm Satan? Think about it for a moment. Satan is armed. You know, when a criminal wants to steal from you, he usually is armed. Maybe a gun, maybe a knife, a bazooka. Well, maybe not a bazooka, but... In other words, he's armed because that's why he's going to take something from you. He uses his weapons to take something from you. And for some of you, the devil's been stealing left and right from your life. And, and he's had a weapon. But what, is, what does the cross have to do with the weapon? Well, you have to understand what the weapon is. Do you not rec recognize the weapon that Satan uses against us is this? It's condemnation. He tempts us to sin, and then when we sin and disobey God, then he condemns us for what we just got tempted to do. And he condemns us, and by condemning us, it weakens our faith so that we are unable to claim the benefits that are ours, and the devil continues to rip us, steal from us, and take what belongs to us. Take our health, take our peace, our joy, our prosperity, all because we feel unworthy for any of those blessings. So he condemns us. Now, what does the cross do to take away the armor or to take away the weapon? The weapon is condemnation. So what did God do at the cross? He took away our sin, thus depriving Satan of the ability to condemn us. For how can he condemn us for our sin if our sin was canceled? If he took the sin away, there's nothing for him to condemn us by. Oh, you're getting this. So that's how... Christ defeated the devil by taking away our sin. Now, Jesus spoke about this in his own earthly ministry. Look at Luke 11 now. I told you to turn to Luke 11. Jesus here is speaking about the devil here. We know he's talking about the devil because he's dealing with, well, he actually just finished driving out a demon. And then he started to explain how Satan's kingdom operates. Then he goes into an important teaching that many people miss. Look at verse 21. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up the spoils. Now, what is Jesus saying here? He's saying the devil is that strong man. He's the one that, had, that he trusted in his armor and kept the possessions from other people. He held our possessions in his house. And he held it because we couldn't break in and take back what is ours because he had an armor that he trusted in. But Jesus is predicting a time when the strong man, how many of y'all know who the stronger man is? Jesus is stronger than Satan. Okay? He's saying one day the stronger man's gonna come in and take away the armor so he can get back the spoils. To the people that rightfully owns the spoils. Are you getting this? So how did Jesus take away the armor? What's the armor? What is the thing Satan has trusted in to keep us from our possessions? He's trusted in our sin. By tempting us into sin, he could condemn us and keep us poor and broke and unable to take our possessions. But what Jesus is predicting... A day when he's coming and he's going to defeat the devil. And the, what he's going to do is take away the armor. Yeah. 